Hey, welcome back, welcome back to Open Your Eyes. It is a fun Friday and we're kicking things off with some fun, some delicious treats, fun, of course. That's what we'll be kicking things off with this morning. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you what, we'll take you as far out as to San Ignacio and uh, sweet lemon dessert uh, feature, cheesecakes on a stick, uh, specialty cakes, and of course, we've got in with us, well, not in with us here, but on the screen, we have Gabby Guerra, who is the owner. Gabby, good morning. Good morning. And how are you today? I'm doing well. I'll tell you what. How are you, you? I'm very good. I'm very good. Uh, I would be even better if I was right there with you at that backdrop. Can you see? You Do you see what's going on there? My goodness, it's beautiful, Gabs. Well, we're at um, Kahalkach Village Resort. Wow. Um, uh, so we decided to showcase San Ignacio, no? Because this is where we are from. Definitely. I'll tell you what, you're, you're the camera person, very brigging too. You got time to swing the camera, <laughs> correct? <laughs> so, Gabs, let's get into the business. And uh, what's the name of the business again? Sweet Lemon. All right. So, how did you guys get this started? What's, what, what went on there? Well, um, I kind of, I've always made cheesecakes. Huh. Um, I used to make desserts for Halpatch Village Resort. Wow. Um, but obviously, because of COVID, um, you know, we had to close down. And so my husband and I were at home and we kind of said, well, you know, we know how to make cheesecakes. We love to make cheesecakes. Let's do something fun. Yeah. Um, and so we, we came up with the concept of a cheesecake on a stick and we tried it out and people really really loved it um and so it's kind of like our baby now wow and how long ago was that um it's not even two months oh okay wow well i'll tell you what and you know and a lot of people try to venture off now into into uh, into new doing new things and uh, folks might have watched the COVID situation as a negative when in reality a lot of people actually ventured off into new into new business so what went on there during this during this entire pandemic did you try new things how did you do, how did you deal with that um well you know i just had a baby oh. um right before the COVID started um they, they, well they shut down no? um and so it was i was you know tending to my baby so i really didn't um, I wasn't really baking as much and, and, you know, until, you know, she was a little bit older and then we started to play around with, with different ideas mm -hmm. because we, we figured, you know, tourism isn't going to start back up, so we need to do something, Yeah. you know? Yeah. And the idea, and the idea of, uh, of cheesecake on a stick, how did that come around? I mean, I've never seen it. Well, you know, um, I was just kind of in bed one night and I was like, you know, my husband would throw ideas at me all the time and I'd be like, no, that's not going to work. And one day I kind of just said, you know, we should try it on a stick. Um, and I thought I was a genius, of course, but I said, you know, no, um, it's not going to work. Um, and then he came back in and he's like, you know, that exists. Um, we should definitely try it. And so we, we tried it and, um, you know, we, we kind of made it um, in the morning one day and by the evening um, we had a sample already and I sent one to a friend and she loved it and she posted it on Facebook and that was it, you know, <laughs> and we just started getting orders. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, that's the fun aspect of it. But while it's a fun Friday, Gabs, I, uh, you did mention that, you know, your husband, your husband came up with some ideas and you, tell, you told him, hey, they're, they're not work. You go tell me some of the ideas. Well, I mean, he, he wanted to do, like, um, well, he wanted to sell dessert, you know, and I said, you know, there's a lot of dessert places in San Ignacio. Um, and then, you know, he, he wants to do all these crazy, like, um, desserts. Um, you know, like loaded cookies and stuff like that. And so now we've, we've started to incorporate the desserts that he had, the ideas that he had into our everyday sales. Bomb, so, like, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have here, like, we do, like, loaded brownies. Um, we sell whole cheesecakes. We sell um, different types of chocolate chip cookies. And yeah. so every day we try and come up with a new flavor of cheesecake, but we also try and come up with different products that are new to the market. So what, so what do you have lined up like right now? And I like the fact that you mentioned that, um, you know, you try to do some new products. And there are a lot of Belizean business right now, especially because of the entire COVID, uh, COVID situation. And you're not able to bring stuff. You're not able to import anything. So you have to use what you've got here. So what, what do you have that yeah. would wow somebody like, me even when I could make that? Besides, of course, cheesecake on a stick. 
Well, you know, like we do, like I said, like the, the loaded um, brownies, which mm-hmm. has become very popular here in San Ignacio. Um, you know, everybody just sells regular brownies. Um, and so we've started to use different toppings for the brownies. Um, that it makes them a little bit different. We also are going to start doing crepes and um, cheesecake nachos. You know, we have a lot of different ideas that we're playing around with to try to perfect so that we can have new products for the, for them, you know, to sell. You'd wow me with uh, cheesecake nachos. I wonder how that would go. Oh, you soon we'll have to send you a sample. <laughs> Definitely. Speaking of samples, I've got two of the samples here from the from the cheesecake on a stick. I've got it here in my hand. This one seems to have chocolate and uh, let me see, I, 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 I want to open it. I definitely want to open it because I have to sample it, you see. So, but of this course, one, yes. this one actually <laughs> says, oh, it's a Snickers. It's actually... That's, that's one of our uh-huh. popular favorites. All right, so it says Snickers. This is actually topped with Snickers, right? No, actually, we don't use the actual chocolate bar because it has a lot of allergens in it. A lot of people are allergic to a lot of the products in Snickers. You're right. So we actually use a cheesecake base and we coat it in chocolate and peanuts and then caramel. So it's just the concept of Snickers. Oh, it looks like it indeed. And then there's car- caramel on it as well. Like, you're right. Yes, yes. Cool. And then the second one I've got... The second one I've got, and I'm sure a lot of people are jealous at home because John get for seed and taste it. Oh, this one says triple chocolate. Tell me about that one. Well, that one is also, it's a newer flavor. Um, so that one is a chocolate base. We dip that in chocolate and we also top it with white chocolate. With what? White chocolate. What? So it's, it's a, a white chocolate drizzle. So it's, a, yeah, triple chocolate indeed. It actually has the name correct. Yes. <laughs> So good. So uh, we're going to get into uh, making the toppings, you said? Um, yeah, well, I have the cheesecake made already. Mm-hmm. Um, and so basically what we're going to do is just cover them, show you the coating process. Yeah. All right. You, you've got your machines, girl. <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> but wow, I really and truly like what I'm seeing from here. I like... There is nothing like probably eating a, a, a cheesecake on a stick and you're at that particular area on that view. All, All right. right. So here we have our cheesecake. Um, forgive me, it's a little bit soft because, you know, they melt it. They need to be kept frozen. Yeah. Um, but this is a cheesecake. It's on a stick. And what we do, we have a melted chocolate here. Mm-hmm. And so we just coat the cheesecake in a little bit of chocolate. Rich. All over, but I can't turn it over now because this one is soft. Yeah, I see it. Right? Yeah. Okay. And then we just take the, the sorry, the peanuts. <laughs> yeah. And we, <laughs> being a little bit difficult. Yeah, right? you can set it down, but come on. I had to put it down. It's going to fall off the stick. Yeah. So, and then we just... Cover it in caramel. Mm. Whoa, check that out. That's beautiful. Well, yes, thank you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, any, any time of the day, you could, you could get yours. That's no problem at all. <laughs> yes, well, it, I mean, it's easier if it's frozen because then it stays a little bit neater and I can still hold it on the stick now, but... Um, this is, you know, this is how we do it, and we, throughout this, it's a very long process to make them. Wow. We have to make the cheesecakes, and then we need to freeze them, which is normally overnight. Then we need to cut them, put the sticks in, you know, and they have to be frozen throughout this entire process. Yeah. So it's a labor of love, I'm, you know? I'm sure it is, I'm sure it is, but, uh, so if folks would like to get, if folks would like to get into that, uh, where can they find you, and how can they find you? Well, um, at the moment, we are um, we're selling out of our house in San Ignacio. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page. Um, and then you can also um, buy the stuff from Miss Deb. She's been carrying our products. She takes two different flavors to, um, you know, Belmopan, Belize City. She's even been to Orange Walk last week. Um, and now even more recent, Brody's, um, has decided to carry our product. Wow. So you'll be able to find 
um, the cheesecake on a stick at Brody's on the Northern Highway, um, I think as of today. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Gabs. Um, I'm so, first of all, I want to say congratulations on, um, on, on starting business and going, getting business like this. Now you're in stores, which is, of course, one of the best things that could happen to you. I'd like your advice, though. And, and reason for this is because a lot of people at this particular point, especially because of COVID-19, they're not able to leave their house and venturing off now into new and, I'd like to say, exciting things. But at the same time, there are a lot of people who are afraid of entrepreneurship. How, how is it working for you and what advice Hello. would you Hello. give to somebody uh, when it comes to Hello. that? Hello, is it still live online? Right. No, I'm seeing you. We're here. Can you hear me? Gabby. Oh, there. wow. All Hello? right. I'm sorry. Technical we, we just now. <laughs> you know, it happens, it happens, but nonetheless, we're still here with you. You guys are there, right? Yes. All right, there we go. So like I was saying, Gabby, um, um, we're so proud of the fact that you guys ventured off now into your own business, which of course is entrepreneurship and um, uh, providing a stellar product across the country at this particular point. Well, you guys just got started a few months ago. Now you're in stores at Brody's, Miss Deb's carrying the stuff as well. Tell us about mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Is it something hard? Is it, is it, what are your thoughts around there? Well, um, it's, it's not easy, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, we've had, me and my husband, um, you know, we, we just, we hired someone to help us because, you know, we have two very young children and so it's, it's becoming, you know, a little bit difficult um, to keep up with the, the demand that, that, you know, we're having so far. Um, and, you know, I've had a lot of sleepless nights um, trying to think up ideas because I, I don't really like to go online and, and find ideas. I like to come up with my own One because thing. I want them to be very unique, you know? Yeah. yeah. Gabby, I'm so proud. I'm so proud to hear this. And, you know, it's you and your husband, which, of course, makes it a family business. And the fact that you guys are actually now hiring and, you know, that to me is what makes us who we are in terms of Belizeans and the love that we could, that we could, uh, that we could share. But again, as an entrepreneur, there are a lot of people who would like to be in the same shoe. What advice would you give to them uh, for them to hold on and continue? Well, you know, um, you need to, like, first of all, I think what's very important is to have a very good social media presence. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's really helped us. Um, and then, you know, what's very important to us, and I think it shows to the people that like our products, is that we are very very um we care about the quality of our product so mm -hmm. you know if it's if it's broken if you have something wrong with it you know you need to get in touch with me because i will do everything i can to fix it yeah. you know it's so important to me that everybody leaves from you know or everybody gets their product and they're extremely happy with it you well, know def yeah definitely and while we're on the while we're on this can you tell us about some more of the product you did say you have fully loaded brownie do you do cakes and other stuff um, I do like specialty cakes. Um, we do whole cheesecakes. We do, we have about 15 different flavors of whole cheesecakes. Um, we have our brownies. Like I said, we do large chocolate. We do jumbo chocolate chip cookies, actually. Um, the chocolate chip, we do s'mores. Um, we have Reese's. And then we also do cookie cakes. Um, I do like Oreo cakes, but I don't do them with traditional icing um, and frosting. I use, you know, cream and custards. And so they're, they're not, it's not going to be covered in fondant, but it's going to be, you know, nice and decadent, you know? Yeah, definitely. You've got a local product going on here. How do you feel, uh, in terms of your products, uh, how, how much do you use locally grown uh, products or ingredients to do your products? Well, I try to use as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is that because our cheesecake is cream cheese, um, you know, majority of it is imported, which yeah. is, is difficult because it's, it's, becoming a, it's becoming difficult to get the products at this time. Um, but we try and, you know, use like, for example, crabo is in season. So we're doing a crabo cheesecake. Um, we do pineapple and coconut. A lot of flavors are one of our more popular flavors. We actually name COVID-19. What? Um, <laughs> yes. Um, and if you can see on the camera, we have this is our pina colada one. Um, and then this one is actually a Suriname jam. Um, that's it's a it's locally made. Wow. Um, and we wanted to try, you know, a different fruit and to have variety. 
You did say Suriname Jam. How did you get up with that? How did you uh, come up with that one? Well, you know, this um, there's a, a young lady making jams in San Ignacio, and she contacted me, and she said, you know, I have a line of products, and I would like to do a, a, a collaboration. Um, and she gave me a list of her jams, and I said, well, let me try the Suriname cherry, you know, because yeah. it, it's it's different. Wow. So we try something that, you know, that you don't see everywhere. Now, look at that. You're actually... Uh, supporting somebody's product while folks are actually eating yours as well. So it's actually, um, you don't want to call it a double whammy. <laughs> because... we, try and, we try and, you know, big up small businesses on our account every week. Um, it's very important to us because when we were just starting, a lot of small businesses also really yeah. helped, you know, boost us up. But, you know, we, 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 had, um, we had a conversation with the folks of Bell Trade, I think, um, I think it was Wednesday, and they're telling us that, you know what, 70% of businesses in our country is actually uh, MSME, small, uh, micro, small, and uh, medium enterprises. You know, so there we go. You're, you're, the more you buy from that individual, the better she could actually sustain and then try to hire new people because she wants to mass produce. And the same with you. So you're actually doing something for both of you. Yeah. And th you know, this is this is exactly what uh, we think business should be in terms of we're we're able to support each other especially in this time. So once again, it's Sweet Lemon. Can we see these products online? Facebook, tell us about that. Yes, we are on Facebook and Instagram. At, um, it's at Sweet Lemon BZ. Um, and we are, we, we, like I said, um, we have only been open for two months and mm -hmm. we already have over 30 flavors of cheesecake and we're making new ones every day. So you got to look at our page and you'll see our updates. All right, I'll tell you what, I, I will definitely check out the page, but in front of me right now, like I mentioned, we've got this, I've got, uh, I've got the cheesecake on a stick, I've got the Snickers, and this, this properly dealt, I, I swear, and I really and truly love the presentation, I could tell you that much, Gabs, and that's the first one. I also have the triple chocolate, and everybody loves chocolate. Favorites. What's that? That's one of my favorites. Really? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And what about your husband? He's there holding the camera. I got it. I hear around giggling a few times. What is his favorite? He likes there's a, there's one called the cinnamon toast crunch with a rum filling. That's that's his favorite. Oh, so he's spirits up. Cool. Yes, we try not to keep that one in the house because then we don't have any to sell. <laughs> Spilling the secrets, I see, you, Mr. Husband. Was it a chuckle with that camera? <laughs> Okay, cool, cool, cool. I really and truly appreciate the business. So I'll tell you what, we're having a fun Friday here. And while we're having this fun Friday here, uh, and you're telling us all about these nice cheesecakes and the fact that uh, you're supporting other businesses, hiring people, what do you say we do a little summer Friday? You like to have fun, right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay, then. So I'll tell you what, Gabs. You are now about to play a game with me, and it's called Song Association. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we get people by surprise. That is what we do on a Friday. <laughs> so this one is actually, uh, you've got two minutes to sing a song with these words, and you could, uh, oh. you could choose to pass if, uh, if the word is too difficult, all right? No. <laughs> Gabby, and if you should win, I'll tell you what, you, we, we're going to give you, I'm going to give you, if you should get at least four, I'm going to crown you the Song Association Master. You ready? <laughs> How good are you with music? Can I pass to my husband? <laughs> yeah, well, you could pass to him too. You guys have a business together, and this one could be a together thing. And I could hear him behind the camera as well. He's like, no, yeah. He <laughs> you don't want to play? Man, stop it, for yeah, God's sake, stop it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. The first one, uh, you, I'll give you a word. And um, when you hear that word, you sing a song, that, that word is in there. I'll give you a, a quick example. The first word I have here is night. And then for me, I think of a song, um, 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 In the still of the night, I held you, held you tight. You, you see where I come from? In the still of the night. Okay. You, you get it? <laughs> yes. All right. So your first word is heart. Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so you got one, you got one. 
Your second word is a favorite word of yours, and it's actually sweet. Sweet dreams are made of these. <laughs> Man, you, you got me the green hard, I swear. Your third word is lemon. That's a good one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, can you can choose to pass if you want. I'll pass that one for now. All right, good. Your, 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 your fourth word is cake. Cake. Uh, cheesecake, munching on my cheesecake. <laughs> Who sang that song? I know you had that song before. That song <laughs> It exists, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, and I love these words, Steph. I love these words. So check this out. Your next word is cheese. Che oh, cheesecake, I just said that. That's, that's <laughs> <count> that too. <laughs> so double words in one song. Cool, I'm going to that. I'm going to that. All right, your, 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 your other word is dance. I want to dance with somebody. somebody. Hey, 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 I want to feel the heat. All right, so your next word is angel. Um, sorry, but the only thing that comes to my mind is my nephew Angel, so I just cannot think of one song. All right, I'll give, you, I'll give you one. Girl, you're my angel. You're my darling angel. Huh? Huh? There we go. Your, your other word is love. Hmm. Um, every song ever, let me think. Um, no, I can't You got 10 that. seconds. <laughs> you got 7 seconds. Come on, come on. Uh, three. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always love you. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'll tell you what, you, you got a lot of words. So today, right now, as of right now, you, Gabby, are the word or the song association champ of the champ for the champ how you like it <laughs> you know what i want as my prize i want to make it taste the cheesecake for me oh cool which one which one Any one you want all right so um we're going to do any mini mini more or which one uh, you know what i'm going to pick the one that you like the most and this is the triple chocolate okay i like song association and you like Snickers, so it's only best that we be fair. What do you say? All right. Yes, because you, you catch me just now. <laughs> All right. So let me try to open it. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow. This one is frozen, though, for real. And uh, here we go. This one is actually from Sweet Lemon. It's called Triple Chocolate. Well, a uh, four chocolate. Watch this chocolate. Watch this chocolate. So, like four chocolate. But here we go. Oh, okay. Mmm. Gabby, I'm having feet for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nothing must, like that, huh? I must take another bite. That's so a that good I, sign. Yeah, so that I could tell you exactly. Oh, my God. Like, you know, you watch money and don't know which side you want to bite. You know how that goes. You don't know if you want to get a crust or just the filling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Wait, I'm on camera right here. So everybody say, oh, I chew. <laughs> All right. Got me? I got some of the white chocolate, the dark chocolate, the cheesecake. Somebody laugh after me. I hear it. <laughs> the cheesecake. <laughs> this is. This is not good. I got some of the crust now. Gabby, you there? I'm right here. Uh, are you watching as well? No, I can't see you. Oh, thank God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gabby, this is beautiful. This, of course, is a wonderful Belizean product made by a wonderful Belizean. And Belizeans, it is our time to support what we've got. All right? Gabby, this is beautiful. This is nice. This is tasty. Thank you. Did I mention I was supposed to only take two bites? Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> you I, ate it. I took, about, ate si I took about six, Gabby. That's good. <laughs> I have to put it up now. 
Man, they're telling me to put it up, Gabby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gabs, once again, where can we find you? We're in San Ignacio. Mm -hmm. um, you can call, you know, the directions. It's a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit tricky to find if you're not from here. So you always call and I can give you directions to my house. Mm -hmm. Or you can find it at Miss Debs, wherever she is, mm -hmm. and at Brody's. And it's actually Sweet Lemon. That, that's the name of the business, Sweet Lemon. Yes, and my apologies, we also have it in San Ignacio at the Cooling Rack. All right, so there we go. Belizean product on the shelves in Belize, made by a Belizean, and of course her family. Gabby, thank you so very much. Thank you too. We really appreciate you. Wow, check that out, just like that from Sweet Lemon. Cheesecake on a stick. What do you know? Things are popping up in our country made by Belizeans, authentic uh, products right here in Belize. And the only way we could expand if we, is if we continue to support each other, all right? So, we're about to take a break. When we come back, we'll be chit-chatting with another Belizean. This one is going to be good as well. Zeva Sarai Designs. Making masks, not any old way, but stylish. So when we come back.